Well, if you were allowed only three minutes to voice your opinion on the Enbridge Line 3 replacement project, what would you say? Haiti Clotter was at a public hearing in Bemidji today and shows us how the public used the time to make their viewpoint count. It didn't matter if you're for or against the Enbridge Line 3 replacement project. Everyone received three minutes to share their stance at a public hearing at the Sanford Center in Bemidji. Great replacement Line 3 top line for Minnesota and America. Oil pipelines put the land and the resources at great risk. Bemidji was the sixth of nine public hearings addressing the topic. Attendees spoke in front of a panel including members from Enbridge and the state's Commerce Department. Provides a very good, robust um, opportunity for community members to provide their input on the project. In April 2015, Enbridge filed an application for a certificate of need and route permit for the pipeline. An administrative law judge heard public comments and they will compile a report for the Public Utilities Commission. Recommendation that she'll file for the Public Utilities Commission and the Public Utilities Commission will make a final decision on the certificate of need and route permits for this project. Enbridge has operated pipelines for more than 60 years. The current Line 3 pipeline transports crude oil from Canada through Minnesota to Wisconsin. The proposed project will have a new preferred route. We will route next to our main line system into Clearbrook and then head south at Clearbrook down toward Park Rapids and then we take an easterly route into Duluth and Superior. The replacement has a price tag of nearly $3 billion that Enbridge would cover, and some see the potential economic boost it would bring. As a result of this two-year construction project, we'll see over 6,100 jobs created for Minnesotans. Some of those are direct jobs related to the project, and others are spin-off jobs created due to the, the payroll and the investment that's infused into our regional economy. This isn't Mary Ackerman's first hearing. In fact, she calls herself a many-timer because she's been to several. She also represents property lake owners and says she supports an alternative. A longer route, a straighter route, and not through wetlands and lakes. Of course, the impacts of spills to drinking water and to wild rice, which are obviously very important to all of us. At the hearing, the majority of the people in attendance were supporters of Line 3, and some Enbridge employees wore lime green shirts. The reason many were behind Line 3 ranged from tax revenue to petroleum products. I encourage the, uh, the need for uh, this line replacement. The opposition of Line 3 carried over outside of the Sanford Center, and this group wanted to get their point across with a giant loon. In regards to his 2525 for our water, but in order to see that through, we need to say no to Line 3. The next public hearing is scheduled for tomorrow in Duluth before wrapping up in Cross Lake and St. Cloud the following week. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. And the next steps in the process are evidentiary hearings where parties present witnesses to summarize pre-filed testimony. A final decision by the Public Utilities Commission is expected in April 2018. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.